Behold Thor's mighty hammer. Ah. Well, I guess it will do. Hello fellow shapers, um, we're just going to move straight on with some thermoplastic. Um, I know it's not everyone's cup of tea but I, I just love this stuff. I've been able to make a technique where you can make it super thin and smooth. basically make a very thin gold ring or anything from there really but it's perfect perfect piece of plastic now instead of a bit rough around the edges and lumpy or whatever but this method is how you can get consistent quality of material like that so for this you're going to need two pieces of steel preferably um, this is a lovely thick piece of steel. Um, it's actually a little bit of a mirror. A uh, survival mirror and I'm going to have to use this as my other metal which isn't steel I don't think um, but it's, it should be good enough. I've smoothed it so it's super smooth with no indentations or any place it can grip. Uh, so the idea is that I shall heat up some plastic Put it in there, put that on there. So we've got two pieces that I've preheated. Um, I had already coloured them. This is like a dark bronze. Um, this is like a gold elf. Um, <laughs> I don't know where these names come from, but that's what I think anyway. So what I'm going to do is just they're kind of equal amounts. I think they might be a little bit more of the elf gold. Yeah. But no problem. And we're just going to twist them. Nothing too crazy. Um, now we apply as much pressure on that as we can. Uh, so all we're going to do is heat these things up. tried to actually remove this plate at the moment it would just become a sticky mess of stringy stuff so you don't do that but you get yourself your fireproof uh, glove or something that is going to protect you from the heat of this thing I would leave it to cool a little bit because it's still very hot um, and then just press all your weight on it and see how thin we can get this little bit of plastic here And uh, we'll give it another heat and I think. I think that seems to be the best way to do that. I would still prefer two nice thick pieces of steel, but I haven't actually got two pieces. I've got one piece. I might chop the one piece in half and make it so that they're nearly credit card size. And then, of course, you can flatten them down to a thinness of, say, that which is incredibly thin. Um, and make them consistent by just trimming off the edges around the metal sheets. So you can make a template, essentially. You could even do a bit of engraving on that template um, so that that would come through in your finished product. 
You could, of course, speed this process up by uh, popping it in the freezer or fridge or something. Um, yeah, so it's totally cold now and it literally just falls away from the surface. Um, and then you've got this ever so consistent, nice, super smooth, super thin piece of polymorph. So yeah, just a, a method to get, uh, well, a nicer piece of plastic to work from. You can then take this onto anything. Um, with your heat gun, you could just wrap it around that so simply. Uh, it's not the best pattern in the world, but it's, it's an example of what you can do. I'm not sure I like that elven gold. And the bronze has turned a little bit brown. But, yeah. Never know, do you?